You will need to remove the two air inlet ducts, red arrows, as well as the front engine cover, yellow arrow. Remove each duct by compressing them towards the engine, red arrow, and slipping them off the air inlet. With the ducts off, remove the front engine cover. It pulls up and away from the engine, yellow arrow. The cover is held on by five clips, red arrows, and will easily come off with hand pressure. Next, you will need to remove the main engine cover that also houses the air filters. It is held on by four pressure clips. You can see two at the front of the engine, red arrow. To remove the cover, lift at the front of the engine and once the front clips release, the rears, which you cannot see, will release as well, red arrows. The two red arrows show the valve covers on each side. We're going to begin on the right side. You will be able to see the valve covers on top of the heads. They hold the coils, yellow arrows. The breather hose is located just above the coils, red arrow. Disconnect the three individual wiring harnesses going to each coil, red arrow. They simply squeeze in and pull out of the coil. You can see how filthy the valve covers are in this picture. Use a T30 and remove each bolt from the three coil packs, as indicated by the red arrows. Remove the wires and boots from the plugs. The boots can be very tricky to remove and will take a little patience, especially the ones at the rear of the motor. The boots are on quite snug and you will need to use a 17mm open-ended wrench to place over the end of the boot, red arrow, and using the valve cover, gently pry the boot off. If you want to make the job very easy, buy a Kralin tool that is basically a specially bent open-ended 17mm wrench that makes getting the boots off, red arrow, an ease, and you can use them to help you seat the boots when you reinstall them. Never try and remove the boots by pulling on the wires. You will only end up ripping the wires from the boots. Remember that while the coils are interchangeable, the wires from each coil must go to the appropriate plug. With the coil mounted on the cover, the A wire always goes to the forward plug. There are 12 plugs on the C320. Some of the plugs at the rear of the engine are difficult to access. You will need a 5 16 thin walled socket along with a series of extensions and a universal joint and remove each plug. Take your time, especially when installing the new plugs, as you do not want to cross-thread the opening in the cylinder heads. Remember to work on a cold engine. A hot engine causes the metal to expand, making the removal of the plugs difficult, and it also causes the metal to become softer, making cross-threading easier. Here's a picture of the old plug, right side, and a new one side by side. You can clearly see how the electrode on the old plug has worn away. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.